2020 is off to a deadly start in the capital city. Sacramento police just released their crime numbers for all of last year, and they reveal we had one homicide in January of last year. This year, we've already had three homicides, and we're only halfway through the month. Take a look. The latest homicide happened here on this now quiet stretch in South Sacramento Tuesday night. This neighbor, Tia, remembers all the police lights. It was kind of frightening, actually, because it was really close to home. I want to show you this all happened right across the street from Kasumnis River College along the busy Calvine Road at that apartment complex. It all came to an end here in Roseville with this crash on North Sunrise Boulevard near the Outback Steakhouse after a wild police chase. They jumped across a median and ultimately ran into a city bus. Police arrested this man, 44-year-old Ashgar Ishan. We activated our SWAT team uh, because we knew this individual was armed and considered dangerous. And this is a great example of two agencies, Sacramento and Roseville, working together to bring this suspect into custody. Police say Ashgar knew the victim and is now facing homicide charges. His quick capture means police have now made arrests in two of the three homicide cases this month. And look at this. The number of homicides have actually decreased each year for the past five years in the capital city, going from four 43 homicides in 2015 to 34 homicides in 2019. Tia tells me she's just happy to hear this latest suspect is off the streets. It takes a little bit of ease off because it's not just some stranger roaming around picking a random victim, but it's still sad that she lost her life to someone she knows. That is so true. And you know, Madison, yeah. I have been in contact with Sacramento Police Chief Daniel Hahn, and he tells me this downward trend in homicides is, quote, a positive step in the right direction, but he says there is still work to be done. Absolutely. We're going to be looking at those crime stats in more depth, too.